Hello and welcome to AI Unlocked with Intel Core Ultra. In this series, we'll interview creators from across Canada about their artistic process, technology, and what's possible with AI. Originally from Lima, Peru, and now based in Toronto, Fiorella Grander is a multidisciplinary designer and former varsity basketball player. She's skilled in architecture, graphic design, and creative illustration. She aims to seamlessly blend the world of sports and design to benefit the greater good. Hey, Fio. Hello, how are you? I'm well. So we want to talk a little about the things that you do creatively. You're an illustrator. I'm a little bit of everything. So I'm an architect, but I'm also an illustrator and graphic designer. I think that multidisciplinary approach has helped me in a ton of projects. I like to take multiple angles into everything that I do. You're definitely multi-talented. Thank you. Can you share with us a little your creative process? How do you go from concept to actually the final product that people see and appreciate? It's a little bit of a mess to be completely <laughs> honest. I always start by drawing and as soon as I have an idea, I always try to write it down or sketch it out. I always keep a notepad next to my bed because for some reason when I wake up in the middle of the night, that's when the best ideas happen. <laughs> I usually start by sketching or writing stuff down and then I immediately go onto my computer and find inspiration, a color palette, make a mood board, just kind of keep going until that idea is is done. I'm not a person that can, when they have an idea, can take a pause and then go back to it. I kind of just like to get it all done at once and see, how I, and see how I like it. And then I usually mock up whatever I've done, whether that's on a print, a tote, or a t-shirt to see if that design can transfer well. Usually I make a social media post about it at the end of the day. Thank God for social media, right? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> You come from an architectural background. Mm -hmm. Are there any techniques or tools that you use that are different from other illustrators? A good project to explain this process was a project that I did with the WNBA. I was privileged enough to design a basketball court for them on oh. Toronto's East End. That must have been so much fun. Oh my goodness, it was the most fulfilling process ever. But I think what really helped me is that translating a 2D design in a 3D space was pretty seamless in my opinion because of the background that I had. I approached this from an architectural point of view, from a basketball player point of view, and also as an artist point of view. Thankfully, I also play basketball for many years. So I started with the main basketball zones, which are the key three-point line, half-court line. And then from there, started to weave in key moments and key players from the WNBA's history. And then from an architectural standpoint, I kind of studied the site and saw how much light does this site get? How much shadow? How can we incorporate the greenery surrounding? How can we incorporate the surrounding community into this space? From process to finish, I was lucky enough to be involved through everything. So I think what my advantage is, is seeing everything from multiple angles and wearing multiple hats. And how important is technology in, in your creative process? Technology is super important in my creative process, especially because I'm so multidisciplinary. I can go from 3D rendering to using Adobe Creative Suite to video editing. And luckily I have a, a pretty good laptop with, with an Intel processor, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it has really good specs and it can really, really help creative workflow and can help streamline your process 100%. Yeah, and that brings us to the conversation of AI. Everywhere you look, it's incorporated into all the things that we're beginning to see around us. Mm -hmm. Have you incorporated any AI features into your work so far? Yes, I use AI all the time in my workflow. I mainly use it to generate ideas. In some of the illustrations that I do, I, I put a lot of puns or fun sayings. So I, I use ChatGPT all the time and <laughs> put in a prompt being like, I'm making an illustration about summer. Can you generate some puns about summer and tanning and then it will generate phrases and I can combine the two and it would also give me illustration ideas of what I could make with that specific saying but like you mentioned AI is, is here and it's it's not going anywhere and I think the creative community can can really use it as an advantage I know that the creative community is is pretty sensitive towards AI, and I was as well, because everybody was like, this is gonna take our jobs, yes, oh my you goodness. Know, conversation. Yeah, and, and I was very scared at first as well, but the moment I started seeing how much it can improve my workflow and streamline my process, I started to use it to my advantage as well. And what are your thoughts about AI when it comes to illustration? 
The biggest thing that I struggle with is, I think all designers can relate to this, is picking the right font whenever you're done <laughs> a project. I could spend like three hours picking the right font. So definitely using AI from the beginning to end of a project can help artificial intelligence remember what goals you want to achieve. And the mm -hmm. more prompts you put in, the better it gets. With the branding that you want to do, the color palette would be huge. Using different recolor techniques, using different artistic styles would also be great to see how your work can look like in different lights. Seeing your work mocked up in different environments would be also very helpful. My hope for AI would be a multidisciplinary output for someone like me, <laughs> selfishly. <laughs> no, that's not selfish at all, because that's what it's supposed to be. Enhancing our productivity, being the assistant that we don't have to pay, mm -hmm. you know, and just helping us do stuff faster and be more productive in what we know how to do, which is being creative, right? Mm -hmm. 100%. And like, since I'm everything for my small business, I'm a designer, content creator, founder, et cetera. If I can find something that can streamline my workflow, I'm 100% sure. going to take yeah. it. You know? Intel recently launched Intel Core Ultra processors that enhance AI functionalities that are great for illustrators. Let's have a look at one of those examples. Adobe Illustrator's generative AI features includes auto colorization for instantly applying beautiful color palettes and text to vector conversions for turning written ideas into scalable graphics. These tools streamline the creative process, allowing artists to focus on their vision while AI handles the technical details. I've actually used generative recolor in a lot of my work and it's super helpful to streamline my workflow. That's so good to hear. Other aspiring illustrators, what would be your advice to them as they navigate this journey of trying mm. to get to where you've managed to get to today? Keep being authentic to yourself and to your ideas into your mind. When I first started, I suppressed a lot of my feelings and ideas. And the minute I started letting myself feel what I wanted to do was when everything changed. Comparison really killed me at the beginning. Comparison is the thief of joy, that saying. In the creative world, it's really easy to compare to others. And, and of course, everybody takes ideas from one another. And the minute you see something, you're like, okay, I want to accomplish just that. But what I realized is that it's not authentic to me and nobody's gonna know me for me and what, what I like to illustrate. So the minute I started incorporating my own interests, that's when everything changed for me. For example, women's sports has recently grown a ton in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Seeing it grow, I was just like, okay, this is gonna take off now. I'm gonna start weaving in my, my own interests into my work and luckily, I was able to make work that resonate with other people too. Was there a process of experimenting and testing as you went on this journey of self-discovery? Yeah, I mean, going back to social media, I decided to just survey my followers. I was like, what do you want? What do you want to see? And a lot of them wanted sport-related content, especially because I was sharing bits of myself that I was an athlete for a really long time, and they were really interested to see my take on how I could incorporate sports into my work, and it actually turned out really well. I think everything changed the minute I started being authentic to me, and I was also scared to reach out for help and reach out to other people that I admire. But what I realized is a lot of people do want to help you and mentorship is so underrated and has really, really helped me get to where I am today and like staying curious and, and asking questions and asking questions that also make me uncomfortable, mm -hmm. but pushing myself and getting the courage to do so. It's been so nice chatting with you, Fio. Likewise. Thanks for joining us today. Likewise, thank you so much for having me. It's been so nice. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Intel Core Ultra laptops are available right now at a tech retailer near you.